Reality Resort is a fully animated half-hour web series pilot produced by Cove slash Dan on the Reality Project YouTube channel. The story goes that 14 participants of a reality competition are placed on a secluded luxurious island to compete against one another for the sum of half a million dollars. Each episode promises to follow a format similar to the popular US reality show Big Brother, dedicating time to get to know the players as they start leaving the island one by one. Now that the pilot is out, we can finally dive into my thoughts on how the project shaped up. First off, for those who don't know, my name's Michael Kim. I'm the voice of Marcus, one of the many characters you encounter in this episode, and I also proofread for the first episode. So a lot of stuff. I'd like to start uploading more content soon, so if you enjoy this type of content, please consider shooting me a follow. All right, let's get into this. So our host, Victoria Moore, voiced beautifully by Kenkoi, last name redacted, describes to us the main rules of the game. This includes how the 14 players are split into teams, how they will decide who goes home, and other fun tidbits. I'm sure all that that will be important later, but I'd rather focus on how the episode fleshed out its core cast, which is what we're mostly here for. The episode doesn't give our cast too much time to shine, as most of the episode is dedicated to explaining the rules. However, I like that characters will contribute dialogue when they can to show their mindset and personality, even if in small doses. I think it's time we show you inside, okay? Um, are you endorsing violence? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm endorsing good television. Standouts of this are characters like Vijay, who immediately portrays someone who is not intimidated by high stake, high reward scenarios that they're placed in, while in stark contrast to someone like Charles, who actively keeps to himself due to possibly not wanting to form too early of a target on his back. When you have to introduce this many characters in such a short amount of time, it's important to start differentiating them as quickly as possible. Whether it's through the visuals, vocals, or writing, as I watched, I was able to form my thoughts on not only each individual, but certain groups as well. For example, Brett, Seth, Tino, and Finn formed a posse of bros in the gym, immediately creating a bond that I hope continues in other episodes. Their discussion, while mild, gave subtle hints into Finn being ashamed of growing older. Meanwhile, Brad, while externally very comforting and brotherly, shows in his interview right after that he's not quite as honest as he tries to be perceived. Meanwhile, characters like Seth and Tino don't get as much of a shine, especially Tino, but hopefully other episodes will give him the character he needs. Meanwhile, a group of girls being Cheryl, Annalise, Sarah and Olive are congregating at the same time, and we get to see Sarah has a very obvious crush on Brad. This gives the other girls an opportunity to show who they are through figuring this out. Annalise, being the rich daddy girl archetype, plays very accurately into her role by not caring about Sarah's crush, rather taking the opportunity to compliment herself despite no one asking. Meanwhile, Cheryl seems to be a bit of a people pleaser, choosing to fuel Annalise's ego to hopefully stay on her good side, but it doesn't seem to do much for her. As for Olive, she's a bit disassociated from the others. Instead, we learn from her confessional that she's someone who likes to pretend to have omnipotent psychic abilities. Whether people will figure out if she's lying will be the true question. Once the challenge of the episode begins, we see the two teams are formed based on whether the character prefers a beach vacation or somewhere more exotic. Another element to help separate these characters in our mind. I do think it's interesting that Drew, the conspiracy nut, prefers a more relaxing beach vacation. Nothing about this guy screams relaxation. Maybe check the wrong boxes. Also, while we're on the topic of Drew, I do love the dynamic between him and Isidore. It seems the pilot highlighted this relationship multiple times, and Isidore slowly warming up to him is one of the few instances of natural character progression that you can spot in this short screen time they are given. Other than that, the challenge is rather uneventful. People do as they're told, we learn Marcus has a drinking problem, and Seth is thirsty for something other than the Bloody Mary they're all making. In the end, the emus are up for a and must nominate two of their members for a final challenge that'll determine who will go home first. Vijay seems to be worried he could be the one going due to his poor performance, but rather than sulk in despair, he chooses to fight, which I'm able to respect. And that's the first episode. Next episode we should be in for our first eviction and I know the fan theories are going crazy. As for me, I think everyone in the cast is a solid base to build off of for their characters. The only exception being Tino, who all we know about him is that he likes the gym, but that applies to like four other characters. If there's something you enjoyed about the episode that I didn't mention, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd love to do these as each episode comes out, but that's only if episode two of Reality Resort actually can get made. That's all up to you guys and your support. So I implore y'all to keep sharing the project as much as you can. I know Dan personally is a really talented writer and this took a lot of effort on his end. I cannot wait for his journey and I hope y'all are excited for this awesome project to unfold. That's all for now. See y'all next time.